Yo, this is Soul Drum 86 bringing you another video. And I've never done a video on this Ultimate Warrior, and I planned to way back when when this came out. So this is like an oldie but goodie. Um, I was looking like I was looking through my videos, and I was like, man, I was like, I don't think I, I ever did a video on this one. And um, I definitely had a plan to. Um, I was looking. It was the, after the video I did where I was going through my collection, like going through my favorite ones. Ended up seeing this one, and uh, yeah, um, I forgot to do a little, little, little review of this one, man. It's really not even going to be a review. Like I'm not, I'm not the greatest at reviews, you know. So it's just gonna let's just take a look at this Ultimate Warrior figure. But this by far is one of my favorite warrior figures in action figure form. Just saying. Um, I would say another one that I love is this. And I believe I got this one. I think this was a Target Warrior. If I'm not mistaken, I think this was a Target Ultimate Warrior. But yeah, I got a lot of Ultimate Warrior figures. I actually sold some because I had so many. Um, yeah, I had a lot. Still got a lot, but... Yeah, I haven't gotten any of the uh, Ultimate Warrior figures because, um, well, no, they do have some WWE Ultimate ones, but I know they got that. Oh, I think the one that's recently out is a WCW version of Ultimate Warrior, but it's neither here nor there. This was this one was a part of Warrior's last run in the WWE. This was when he beat Triple H. At WrestleMania, what was it? 12? I believe it was WrestleMania 12. I don't know why I'm blanking on that. I'm usually really good with that. I believe, yeah, I believe it was WrestleMania 12. That was uh, Ultimate Warrior's last run. Um, I heard about the stuff before I watched the biography, but um, he later got fired because he was missing uh, he was missing house show events and stuff like that. And Vince, at that point, Vince had enough. And he was fired. So, yeah, this was a war part of Warriors' last run. That match was so like fast. Like Triple H was pretty much beating him. Did the pedigree? And Warrior got right back up from the pedigree. And if I'm mistaken, I don't even think Warrior took this off. I think he wrestled with this on. I don't even think he got to take it off. Like he ran to the ring, did his entrance, and everything, and. Triple H just started beating up on him, did all his moves, did the pedigree, and like I said, Ultimate Warrior just kicked right back up. I would have to see the match again, but I'm pretty sure he kept this on the whole time. But if you see, this is really cool. This was a ringside exclusive way back when, when this came out. It has special packaging for it and everything. It was cool. I may have put up... I, I feel like this figure was... Maybe put in a video I did a while ago, but I honestly I, I I was looking back and I didn't see it. But yeah, this is uh this is dope. I like everything about this figure, man. I, I really do. I really don't have any complaints. You see the paint on the face, the design on the jacket. You know what? While I take the thing off, uh. Remember when I was talking about Triple H, <laughs> Hunter Hearst Helmsley? They need to redo this figure, man. Look at the uh, soft goods. Like, look at this. <laughs> like, at the time, it was cool because I'm glad we didn't get, like, a rubber material or anything. Like, that was difficult to remove. It's cool that we got the soft goods, but this looks awful, especially in comparison to the, uh, the, the Hunter Hearst Helmsley that came with China. That looks terrible. It looks like a little kid wearing like their dad's coat or something. That looks awful. And I think also we need this one re-released because I'm dropping stuff. Uh, we need uh, the new face scan stuff because they now they're doing that true scan technology. So the face scans are way better than they've ever been before. So this Hunter Hearst Helmsley could benefit from a re-release. And you can change them up a bit because where it's red on his pants, as you all may know, he's had three different colors um, when he was Hunter Hearst Helmsley. He had either the red right here on his pants. It was brown or white. 
So you could re-release this Hunter Hearst Helmsley and give us one of those. Give us an updated face, big time, please. And it's not that it doesn't even look like Hunter Hearst Helmsley, but it's just that the faces look better now. So it's like, why not? You know? Um, but all right, that's enough of that's enough of you. That's enough of you. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we got Ultimate Warrior. I'm telling you guys, and this is one of my favorite Ultimate Warrior figures. I love it. I love it. Now, I think I do. I, well, not I think. I know. I I do like the Royal Rumble one more. Um, with the yellow tights. That one was. That one is still better. Um. Uh, I'm I'm partial to the 80s version of Warrior, you know. This is when he had his hair dyed like a little on the blonde side and he had the tattoo. But overall, seriously in figure form, I mean he looked cool regardless. Like Ultimate Warrior has some of the best ring gear. It changed all the time. Like I love that like growing up how certain characters always change their uh their color. Um, like their ring attire, like it would be the same, but it'd be like a different color scheme and all that stuff. Like Warrior always had cool ring attire. Like, like let's let's just be real. He always had cool ring attire. Um, so yeah, man, I I dig this figure a lot, a lot. This one I remember at the time kept being back ordered. This was another one that I had to order. Um, when it was on back order, because when I tried to initially order it, it sold out so fast, so fast. And to be honest, I think it was mostly because of the packaging. There was a special packaging. It was a ringside exclusive. So I feel like that's what kind of like took it over the top with a lot of people. Um, uh, because normally when a warrior figure comes out, like people don't go that crazy over it. I was thinking about getting that Dingo Warrior figure, um, but eh, I was like, I don't know, because <laughs> um, that's still really cheap, even on ringside collectibles. I think that Dingo Warrior figure is uh, 11 bucks, so it's kind of nice when ringside gets the store exclusives that are like kind of old, and they'll sell them for cheap. So $12 for that Dingo Warrior figure is not bad. Like, I might pick that up because that is a steal. That is a steal. Um, it even went on clearance at my Target, both of my local Targets, but I still never picked it up. Like, and I wanted to. Like, I, I was like, it's Warrior, so it's like, I might, I might do that. And he comes with two different head sculpts. So it's like he comes with when he had the short hair when the gimmick kind of first started. And then you have... Uh, the other head sculpt, which is more of what he looked like once he got to WWE. He got the long hair and all of that. So, but yeah, man, Warrior is another figure, man, where I have a, t I got a bunch of Warriors. I got a bunch of Hogan's. Uh, I got, I, I even have a lot of Macho Man figures. Um, and definitely got a lot of Shawn Michaels. <laughs> I got more Shawn Michaels figures than I need, dude. Like, I'm just being honest. That's, hey, me and ODC got that problem. I'm me. I'm just saying, me and ODC. That's me. We have that problem, yo. Like, um, I even got basics, and I forgot to count the basics. I even have basic Shawn Michaels, like the bad basics, you know, not the new technology ones where the legs move better. Like the the, the crappy ten dollar basic figures. I have those Shawn Michaels. I got at least three of them. So I got a lot of Shawn Michaels figs, man. So I mean, me and ODC probably got. The same ones, literally. I think we have the same ones. So, uh, yeah, every every Shawn Michaels that is released, I get. The only one that I'm not going to get, and when we and ODC were talking, we did a video. Um, it was after Comic-Con, and it, the wrestling reveals. And uh, he's going to get that Shawn Michaels, you know, the brown, the ugly, uh, the ugly ring attire he wore. <laughs> At the uh, what was it, the Elimination Chamber match one? Oh my gosh, where he just got the heart in the center and he's got those brown pants and that awful haircut. I might that that might be the Shawn Michaels that I stay away from. It is tempting to get just to kind of like have it in the collection as a Shawn Michaels fan. So 
I don't know. It, it 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 depends with me, but I know I think ODC said he was definitely getting that one. I might pass on that, Sean. But like, yeah, those are the characters. I mean, I got I got a bunch of razors. Uh, yeah. But this warrior, this this is. I mean, I was looking at it the other day, and I'm like. This is this was a really really cool figure, and then it, it just made me think like, man, did I do a video like uh, showcasing this? It's a really it's a really dope fig, and I love it. Like all of this looks good. As a matter of fact, I have the Superstars Warrior has a, a duster jacket just like this. Um, I mean it's a different design, but the same level of care and detail that went into it to make it look like really good. Yeah, this is this is a really really cool fig. Really really cool fig, man. I love I love my old school wrestling, man. I just do. I was thinking about getting a Rick Martel on eBay, but it's it's used. Um I was like, I don't know. I don't really get a lot of I don't really get used figures like used in the sense of it's still mint on card, but not out of box. Um, but it's tempting because I do want a Rick Martell. I don't know why they haven't had a Rick Martell lately. I don't know the ins and outs. I usually go to ODC for that. I'll ask him, like, yo, how come we ain't had this? And he'll be like, oh, it's probably because such and such was trying to sue the company or, you know, they did something. And, you know, it's always something on why we don't get figures for certain characters. So I'm like, yeah. But I don't know. I, I, I don't know of any bad relationship with uh, WWE and Rick Martel, but I feel like we need a Rick Martel. I really do. Um, I'm. I think one of the figures that I missed out on, and it's because I wasn't collecting them at the time that this came out, is the Carry Von Eric. I. I. That's the one figure that I will probably never have in my collection. And it's based off of by the time that I did start collecting wrestling figs, he the the Kerry Von Eric was already in the hundreds on on eBay. I'm sorry, but I'm not spending a hundred dollars for a figure. <laughs> I'm just I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. But I love Texas Tornado, and out of all the figures, I will say that is the one that I'm like. Damn man, like I really want a Rick, or I really want to uh, carry Von Eric. I've always wanted to carry Von Eric, man. Team him up with Ultimate Warrior, recreate recreate the Survivor Series when they were on the same Survivor Series t uh, team. That's the one figure, man. I think, like, yo. As a matter of fact, it, it, if you put put down in the comment section, if you if you feel so, you know, you choose, you know, it's, it's your choice. But put down in the comment section what figure you want that you'll probably never be able to have. Maybe because they'll never WWE will never work with the person again. They just won't have a figure and you missed out on it. Um, for me, it's definitely Carrie Von Eric. That one, that one hits home, man. I'm like, damn, that's that's a figure. Like anybody who has a Carrie Von Eric. You are a lucky, lucky individual. I'm just saying. Um, if I was anybody other than selling it, because I know people sell it for like crazy amounts of money, but definitely keep that in your in your collection, man, because a Texas tornado would be everything for my collection. I'm just saying. Like, I would love that. That and I would love the Rick Martell. Because right now they're bidding for it. And it, they're bidding for it. It's like. It's at 20 some dollars, but it's used. Not only is it used, but the jacket that Rick Martell came with, the material, the dye, is all over his arms. So the arms are like dark. Like you just see, like it just looks like a, it looks like a bunch of hair dye <laughs> just got all over his arms. So it's not even like a good condition rick martell so it's like yeah it's at 20 some bucks but at the same time for it being open and for it having that those flaws to it even 27 dollars is a little too much it's a little too much for that but yeah carrie von eric i wish i had i really really wish i had man but yeah there's no way you can't find those figures for a, a good price 
Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. Unless a company like, uh, and I missed out on it because at the time, I don't think they were expensive, but there was a company that makes uh, WWE elites, but they're of characters that, like, okay, for example, they have Dynamite Kid. And I would love a Dynamite Kid because I feel like I do this in every video now. The reason why I would love a Dynamite Kid is because they released this British Bulldog. Now, look, I will be on, I will be honest. I, I'm going to say this. I kind of hate that they released this because if you're not going to be able to give us Dynamite Kid, why would you give us this British Bulldog? If we can't create the British Bulldogs... Now, again, that company did make a Dynamite Kid, but still. <laughs> still. Um... But yeah, I, re I really wish I would have uh, took advantage of that because when I did see when it originally came out, the price wasn't so bad. Now, when I looked uh, to pick up that Dynamite Kid, it was like 90 bucks. I was like, yep, I'm good. <laughs> I don't need you. <laughs> don't need you at all. But I'm rambling again, man. I'm rambling again. It stopped being about Warrior a long time ago, but I just wanted to do a video showing this Ultimate Warrior fig because it's dope. Like, I, I love this action figure, man. Uh, Warrior is one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. Um, yeah, so <laughs> that's why I have so many. I, I remember having the, uh, what are, what are they called? Like, the plushy dolls of Ultimate Warrior. I had one of those as a kid. And, like, <laughs> every time I watched one of his matches, I had that thing in my hands. Like, I always had the Ultimate Warrior... I would do that a lot as a kid. Like if somebody was wrestling, I was playing with the toys like at the same time, um, like the LJN figures. Now the LJN figures <sighs> sort of came after my time. You know what I mean? Like when the LJN figures were out, I was a little baby. <laughs> so, so I was playing with baby toys, but, but when I started playing with action, when I got to that age where I'm starting, when I started playing with action figures, if I'm not mistaken, my brother, I have hand me downs for my brother because he had like all of the LJN figures. And um, I pretty much had his hand me downs. So when I was playing with the wrestling figures, they weren't brand new. They were my, my older brothers when he, because he grew up having all of those and he never threw them out, nothing like that. I had his LJN stuff because. Um, the only, the, the only LJN products that I had was the thumb wrestlers. I did have those thumb wrestler ones, but the original big ones, like I, that, my, that was all my brothers. But every time somebody's match was on, like if Hogan had a match, I would have Hogan. And if I did have the person he was fighting, then I would do the same thing. Only thing I didn't have as a kid was a ring until like 1990. Five when the monster ring came out, it was pretty much that LJN ring. Um, and then, but it on all four sides, it was all four major pay per views. So, one side you put a sticker on the side, it was SummerSlam, Royal Rumble, WrestleMania, Survivor Series. That ring was dope, but it was just like the uh, the 80s LJN ring, but it was just called uh, the monster ring instead. But I had that, I had the Raw's War ring. That's when I first started having wrestling rings as a kid, but uh, but yeah. A little history, a little, a little, you know, wrestling talk in all of these videos, man. I can't help but ramble about my wrestling, man. I'm just saying. I can't help but ramble about the wrestling. See, now, for a lot of you newcomers, now you know why it's mostly just wrestling video game gameplay. It's not the only game I, it's not the only thing I play, but it's just my, my channel is very wrestling focused. And it happened naturally. I didn't have a plan to make everything so wrestling centric. Because I do have like videos of Marvel Legends stuff on here. I got videos of NECA stuff and uh, like DC, D DC comic stuff. But this is my wheelhouse, man. This is my wheelhouse. So with that being said, I'm done rambling for this evening. <laughs> so uh, stay tuned for the next video. Um, thank you. And I appreciate you for watching. As always, it's your boy Soul Drum 86 and I'm out. Peace.